What's going on guys? Sir Lionheart here, coming at you with a long awaited update. It's been like, I don't know, seven, eight, almost a year. Let's just say it's been a year since my last update here on YouTube. And if you do follow me on Twitch, which I know a lot of you still don't follow me on Twitch, you would be updated if you followed me on like Twitch, because I'm usually talking with chat. I'm streaming like almost four days out of the week, you know, and I'm like, always over there live streaming creating content you know recording that footage for everybody to get the content later here on youtube or my other channel so it's like i don't know during that live aspect it just i assume everybody watching me is also the same you know base of viewers here on youtube but i i forget that a lot of the times that not everybody on youtube watches my twitch I constantly get people saying, hey, yo, this is my first time watching your live stream. I'm glad to see that you're live streaming. It's been a while since you made a channel update. I'm like, God damn it. It looks like I'm about to just update everybody. I got to go ahead and make this channel update. It's been a long time coming, but here we go. I'm just going to go over some simple stuff. It's not going to be a short, long update like I usually do. It's not going to be one of those Hey, I'm going to say it's short, but it's a long update. It's going to be a short, short update, hopefully. But anyway, let me just start by saying what's been going on with some of the personal things in my life. Like back in November, because I know if you haven't been following me on Twitch, like I said, you probably don't know this, but I started working at GameStop. That's right. GameStop. Working at GameStop is pretty chill most of the time. You do get a few assholes here and there, but most of the time it's just gamers talking with gamers. I don't want games they like or dislike. Um, I like it there. Working at GameStop. Pretty chill. Benefits. You get some cool benefits, you know. Like this. Look at that. Boom. So I speak that up. That's one of the benefits of working at GameStop. You get cool posters like that. Anytime I see a post that I want, I'll try to take the initiative and ask if I could take it or whatever. Whenever it's time to take down the displays and start advertising other games, that's when you can kind of just claim whatever. And then I guess the obvious benefit is being able to get a discount on games or whatever. It's, it's really fun mostly working at GameStop. Whenever it's like kind of slow, you just get to chill and talk with the other employees about stuff. So working at GameStop ever since November has just been fun, I guess. Okay, other than working at GameStop, during December, during December and early January, it was kind of, it's kind of stressful. Like mid-December, my girlfriend's dog died. So that was pretty stressful on us. You know, she, she took it pretty hard and then it affected me too, just being stressed out, seeing her, you know, kind of down about it. And then almost immediately after that, which sucks, she ends up catching COVID from going shopping or maybe even going to the laundromat just for like five minutes or something. She went out for like five minutes, came back with COVID, which is crazy, bro. And she was vaccinated. So it's like that stressed. That stressed the hell out of us and she was going through it one of the worst symptoms was like coughing up blood or whatever so it was like that was scary but i made myself more available during early january which is why i kind of the consistency on youtube wasn't there because i kind of just was worried about a lot of stuff i was kind of stressed out not going cap so that consistency went out the window during those events during December and January. But I would say now that things have calmed down, now that we are back in normal, mostly normal, I would say, I would say we are ready to try to be more consistent here on YouTube. So now that we're done talking about the more personal stuff, I just want to talk about the games that we are going to be playing. So we just wrapped up 13 Sentinels. We are seeing the uploads right now. The uploads are pretty much uploading a lot quicker than I thought. 
I thought it would take me like a whole month to upload that, but I pretty much have most of the footage uploaded and it's just slowly releasing over time. And for the first time since last year, Rarely Default 2 has finally begun resuming uploading on the other archive channel. So if you're looking for the rest of that playthrough, it's going to be on the archive channel, which will be linked below in the description box. So go check it out if you're interested in watching the finale of that. I actually really like that game, the gameplay, despite being spoiled and despite that playthrough making me absolutely no money. It was a waste of time playing that, which is why I didn't upload anything related to that game after like the first eight episodes because everything I claimed and then every upload after that got claimed. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even going to waste any time because it was like the only project I was running at that time was Bravely Default too. So I just had to switch it up immediately to something else. Because if I didn't, it was just going to be a, a terrible paycheck. <laughs> so I think that did clarify the reason why that playthrough went missing for about a year. Okay, Spec 13 Sentinel uploads until the end of March. That'll probably end by the last week of March. And then we are going to be re-uploading some Monarch. I actually started playing that on Twitch again before the big playthrough for next week, which I'll talk about in a second. So Monarch, we started up again. I probably won't beat the game before next week, but I've been very much enjoying it. Monarch is a really good game when it comes to the RPG elements. Battle system is really fun. There's so much flexibility that just rewards almost every different playstyle. That game just offers a lot of different like abilities a lot of different ways to just kind of strategize which is great yeah monarchs is a good game we're gonna see more of that content uploaded this week going into next week and then next week tuesday that's the big deal rune factory 5. we're going to be playing rune factory 5. if you are a fan of rune factory if you know me and you've been watching me you know i love rune factory 4. I love that game. The Room Factory 5 coming out, I had when I even heard of the announcement, I lost my shit because it's like I thought they went bankrupt. I thought there was no plans to ever make a new, another Room Factory because that team like kind of was going through some hard times. But Room Factory 5 is coming out next week. We're playing that day one. We're doing a full playthrough of that game. It's Room Factory 5. That is a legacy game. It's a legacy uh franchise i would say for this channel like persona like smt so all that we're playing it, it's like it's an instant play room factory six eventually we'll go and play persona six seven eight nine playing it next week tuesday we're going to be starting room factory five everybody on youtube expect to see that footage the next day expect to see room factory five footage wednesday because when the game comes out, I'm going to need time to upload. So it's going to take me about a day. So understand, I say when I say Tuesday, we're going to be playing it. I'm going to be streaming it on Twitch. And then I'm going to upload the content the next day. Okay. And with my new recording setup, it's going to be super consistent. Because if you've seen the SMT4 playthrough, or the SMT5 playthrough we recently uploaded back in November, uh, November December. It was super quick, you know why? Because I got a new recording setup that allows me to pause and then insert like transitions on the fly so I can essentially edit while I record, which is absolutely amazing. Next week, y'all are gonna see a lot of Rune Factory 5. I'm just gonna give y'all a heads up. And not only that, you're gonna be seeing 13, 13 Sentinels. Because 13 Sentinels is scheduled to release videos every day up until the 31st. That playthrough is also complete great game get ready to see some crazy plot twists i want to say right now that monarch is not guaranteed to complete because it wasn't a game at all i planned for it was just supposed to be a filler game we were supposed to just check it out but i like it enough to where i'm playing it again to kind of feel some more time so once room factory 5 comes out i'm pretty much gonna room factory 5 all day until i beat it and then we're gonna start up hold still three in april so after room factory five is done 
cold still three all you people asking for cold still cold still when's cold still we're going back april okay after we beat room factory five room factory five is probably not going to take too much time from us and for those wondering about the zero trails to zero and trails to azure uploads those will be uploaded super quickly and those will probably begin uploading next week bravely default who is done i'm so glad to be fucking done with those goddamn edits and uploads because it was one of the most frustrating playthroughs i ever had to just deal with a weight off my shoulders right so that's done that's good we're good to go just to make it simple expect 13 sentinels footage to continue throughout the rest of this month 13 sentinels is already complete we ran through that game amazing game we're currently streaming monarch right now i'm not going to complete monarch because it, monarch was never supposed to be a full playthrough it was just something we wanted to check out because we had an interest in it and it turns out it's better than i thought so we're using it as filler game to, to fill time between the games that we do plan on playing which is a game we plan on playing next week is room factory 5. After we get to Room Factory 5, I'm going to drop Monarch. We're going to play and beat Room Factory 5. After Room Factory 5, we beat that. We move on to Cold Steel 3. The week after Room Factory 5 releases, I'm going to do a March Madness week where I just do four first glances of games that you guys can vote for on Patreon. But that pretty much wraps up this channel update. I will see you guys for more gaming content later. Uh, if you guys have any questions if you want to hit me up follow me on discord there's gonna be a link to discord check out all the social medias i got the i got the instagrams i got the i got the facebook's i got the twitters i got the discords you know hit all that stuff up in the description box below follow me on discord and twitter for like the most up-to-date stuff because i'm always like posting right before i stream or if there's something that happens i'll post about it on twitter or discord that's the best way to be in the know it's your boy but uh pretty much that's it i want to thank you guys for watching this video i know it's been a while but uh i know i know it's been a while since i had any kind of a face presence on youtube outside of gaming content but yeah gotta get used to this because uh i think uh we're gonna have a good year anyway like i said thanks y'all have a nice day evening afternoon take care i often get a lot of people that say uh, i don't have any money i wish i could support you um i would love to donate but i just ain't got the money or whatever let me tell you something you can do watching my content is the greatest donation ever just being a viewer but if you want to be able to support me a little bit further and you ain't got money let me tell you about this app called fetch which is an app where you basically just take pictures of your receipts earn points redeem those points for gift cards amazon best buy gamestop even visa prepaid cards you can get so it's like a really good app just to earn some extra cash on the side at no cost to you you can snap a photo of a receipt and then earn points that's just so amazing it's so broken yo click on that referral link to that fetch app sign up take a picture of a receipt i get that referral bonus and you also get a bonus as well for signing up through my referral so i see it as a win 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 anyway I am out of here. Take it easy.